We are using Microsoft Office Word 2007 to collaboratively edit a document. In this video, we are going to assume that we did not use the Track Changes button or that different people were working simultaneously on a document and we'd like to overlay the two documents to see how they differ and make choices as to which changes we are going to accept or reject. I have my original M&M lab open before any changes were made to it. I'm going to go back to the review ribbon and I'm going to choose the button that says compare and I'm going to click the first one to do a compare document. Use is the M&M and the original document I'm going to use lab that's already open so it appeared on my pick menu. I'm going to replace it with a menu with a document I have to browse for by clicking the browse menu and on my desktop I can see I have one called Skittles Lab. I'm going to open that. So now my two documents M&M Lab and Skittles Lab and I'm going to label the changes Steve to show that I have been doing those edits and say OK. And it says it's going to continue with the comparison. Now I can see my document with everything that has been changed and I can see changes with strike through and underline format. I can go through these with my comments and I can choose to accept a comment or delete it by going through the comments previous and next comment. I can also accept changes with the accept button. I can accept and move to the next one or I can accept all the changes in the document or I can reject a certain change. Let me go to the next. Like if this one I would want it to stay M&Ms, I can hit reject. Do these and accept or or I can reject all the changes in the document. So you can go through reject them or you can wholesale accept all changes and as I look at my views, again, just like before, here is my final showing markup. I can look at just the final. I can look at the original showing the markup or just the original document. When I'm finished, I want to make sure that I save it and I can give it a new file name since the two documents were merged into one. So I can say merged lab. Hit the save button and now I have my document ready.